is the El Camino of the shoe world and today we're going to cut it in half to see if this drop in heel works or if it's just a cheap gimmick and if you don't know what El Camino is you can also call it the mold of shoes the chimera of shoes the pop-up tents of shoes and thanks to Olukai for sponsoring this video so now let's go over the shoe information so the brand is Olukai the style is the Lai Ahi Li Ili the color that I have is fox this orange color and charcoal this gray color. They weigh 9.6 ounces. They retail for $130 and they're made in Vietnam. Now let's go over what we can gather about this shoe before we cut it in half starting with the leather upper. And so this is a chrome tan leather and this fox color is almost identical to that super classic red wing oral leather that everyone gets in the mock toes. It's almost identical. So for mock toe lovers, they love this color of, of leather. I think this shoe is gonna age very similarly to these Red Wings. So if you like these, this leather is pretty awesome. And it's a tumbled leather, so it's really soft and supple leather. It's not gonna take super long to break in, but it might not be as durable as a more firm leather, but it's surprisingly thick for, uh, for this price point. So I think it's a pretty decent leather. I'm pretty impressed with the leather. Next to the lining, so the, the lining's kind of all over the place. You've got fake leather, you've got real leather, you've got microfiber, uh, fabric on the inside as well and I prefer to have a, a, a leather lining and no fake leather at all for any reason but the parts that matter most are out of the real leather and the fake leather just a few spots here and there like the the real leathers around the collar here and where it maybe matters most at the heel because if I pop this up you can see that on the inside right where that heel wears out every single shoe, it's a nice real leather, so you're gonna get that durability. Next to the construction, so pretty simple construction, it's strobel stitched on the inside and the outsole is cemented on, so it's a strobel cemented construction. And if we pull out this insole, in their words, it's a dual density PU footbed with a cushy gel insert. So there's a little cushy gel right there. Like I, I like these a lot. There's a nice density. They're not like a cheap, really squishy foam. There's a, they're a closed cell foam. Next to the outsole, so this outsole is really similar to the Vans Comfy Cush where you've got that really thick layer of EVA foam with a thinner rubber outsole that's in, infused into the foam. So it's not going to be the most durable outsole in the world because you're sacrificing durability for the comfort of that EVA slab all the way through this. But you do have a little bit of rubber throughout here to make sure you still have some grip and some durability. And I like that at the heel right here, instead of it just being foam where most people wear their shoe out, you've got a little extra rubber right there. So next, what is the sneaker for? Because it, it looks like a minimalist sneaker like we did in the white sneaker series, but it's built more like a comfortable casual shoe that you kick around every day because it's flexible. There's no steel in this shoe to set off the metal detectors. It's lightweight, it's smashable, it's bendable, it's flexible. You can't do this with any of the other minimalist white sneakers. And it floats. So it's basically that really comfy kick around shoe, but with a really clean silhouette that's made to be used in every situation with the added convenience of this drop in heel to make sure you don't miss out on any of the fun. So to put that to the test, I gave this pair to Nate, this pair to Jay and sent them to a party to see how convenient these shoes really are. So let's roll the test. I love parties. Also, I love parties. Yeah, just remember to take your shoes off. Oh, ice cream truck! Yes! Yeah! Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Breck, you want some ice cream? Yeah, I'll be out. <laughs> Caught it right in time. You're still here, dude! Two hours later. Hey, movie's about to start. Grab the popcorn. Laces, laces, ah, so many laces. Rick, dude, you missed the whole movie. Let's go, man. I'll be in the car. So as you can see, Nate and Jay were able to enjoy the whole party and Breck basically missed out on everything. Was it the most scientific test? No. But was it a real party? Also no. But does it demonstrate the drop in heel and the functionality of it? Yeah. And I think it's one of those things where 
you don't think you're going to use the economy mode and you're gonna put them in sport mode all the time, but once you get used to being able to slip these things on at any given time, I think people are gonna use it a lot. So now let's see what's inside of this drop in heel and see if there's anything alarming with the construction. So let's cut them in half. All right, we got it cut in half and that was surprisingly difficult. I don't know if my blade's dull or what, but let's see what's inside. So no huge surprises in here, just that layer of EVA foam that I thought was actually going to be a little bit thicker. I don't think it's a bad thing how thin it is because you've got that super thick insole giving you a little bit of extra cushioning. Um, and it, it, I guess it technically is a cup sole because that is a single layer of foam that goes up to the sidewalls. So kind of a cup sole, but not really. And as for the drop in heel, it's, it's simple as well. It's just the outside layer of leather, the inside layer of leather, and then a piece of canvas to reinforce it in the middle to give it that flexibility. And I'm really glad there's no heavy plastics or, or rubber on the inside because if you've ever done this to your own pair of shoes, it's not made to do this. Because once you smash that heel, there's no going back. Because the counter usually breaks, creating really sharp points that if you pop it back up, you sever your Achilles tendon, and nobody wants that. So pros of the shoes, Super comfortable midsole, a really good leather upper, that drop in heels pretty hard to beat. And this shoe really is a, a very versatile shoe. You can use it in pretty much any situation, maybe not a black tie event, but anything from on the beach to a nice casual outfit, you can pull it off. As for cons, this comfortable midsole and this outsole construction isn't gonna be quite as durable as a rubber cup sole just because you've got a thinner piece of rubber that you'd wear through and after you get to that EVA foam, it, it's as good as dead. But you're sacrificing that durability to gain all that comfortability and that squish and that, that flexibility of the foam midsole without all the fiberboard and nails and stuff you see in a regular minimalist sneaker. Uh, next con is some people aren't gonna like this seam on the drop-in heel. It, it's not quite as clean as a regular minimalist sneaker sneaker and some people just aren't gonna like this hybrid style of a sneaker because you know El Caminos aren't quite a truck but they also aren't a car either but they take the most important attributes of each combine them into one really unique vehicle that if you want those specific attributes an El Camino is hard to beat. That's, that's exactly how I view these shoes because in their words it's what happens when the everyday beach sneaker gets a premium upgrade. And I think that's exactly what it is because the sole is a very comfortable, casual sole, but the upper is the more refined, minimalist, something you can wear with a, a pretty decent outfit, but with the versatility of the drop-in heel. So to me, it's a really unique shoe. I love when brands go out on a limb and they try something new rather than making the exact same shoe everyone else is making. 
these guys have tried something different with the drop-in hill, with the comfortability, with the premium up uh, upper. It's cool. I like it. And let me know what you guys think. And thanks again to Olakai for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys for watching. See ya.